numbers. Do you remember what these rules are? First, we work out indices and brackets, then multiplication and division, and finally, addition and subtraction. Some people use this acronym to help them remember. Bid mass. Brackets and indices. Then division and multiplication. Then addition and subtraction. Let's have a go using these rules to evaluate some more expressions. Take a look at these. Press the pause button and evaluate each of these expressions when x equals 3. Let's now have a look at these together. In this expression, we have two operations, subtraction and multiplication. Remember, in algebra, when two things are written next to each other like this, 6x, it means they're multiplied together. Thinking about bid mass, we know we need to do the multiplication first and then the subtraction. So first, 6 multiplied by 3, which is 18, and then 25 subtract 18, which gives 7. Even though the subtraction sign came before the multiplication in the expression, we didn't do it first. Let's look at the next one. There are three operations happening here. We have a multiplication, because we need four lots of something, a subtraction, and the operation in the brackets. Using bid mass, we know we need to do the operation in the brackets first. The multiplication next. And finally, the subtraction, which gives us a final answer of 42. Great! Let's take a look at the last one. Here we have a subtraction, a multiplication and an index number. From bid mass, we know we need to work out the index number first, followed by the multiplication and finally the subtraction. So when x equals 3, we'll get an answer of 5. You'll have an opportunity to practice some more of these in the worksheets after the lesson. Now I want to move on to using inverse operations to help solve problems.